Why, hello there, everybody. How you doing today? It's me again and again. I am here to encourage. I am here to embolden. I am here to inform. I am here to inspire. I am here to lift you up. I am here to build you up. I am here to give and bring you peace. Give and bring you hope. Because I'm here to bring, give, and tell you the truth. Okay, so uh, we're seeing uh, now uh, that uh, Miss Stein is needs uh, she basically needs three volunteers from each and every voting precinct to do this recount. In other words, uh, you dummies gave her money that she never planned on spending because she knew how difficult it would be to do it. So she plans on keeping, keeping your money. Because there is going to be no recount, because there is no reason for a recount, because the, go ahead, recount all you want. It's not going to change the fact that the 45th president-elect of the United States of America is John Donald J. Trump. And again, the only reason why this is going on is because it's a distraction to keep, you, to keep away from all of the other things. They're, they're just, they're doing... They are doing exactly what liberals do. What the enemy does. They're casting down. Jesus doesn't cast out. The, the, the devil casts down. Planting that seed of doubt. Well, what's wrong with recounting it? Why do you have to recount it? Why don't you trust the, the results? Because if the tables were turned, if the roles were reversed, remember now. Remember, Hillary lying, rotten Clinton said that it was it was Donald J. Trump was so wrong for not saying that he would accept the outcome of the election. Well, it's no one's right. It no one has to accept the outcome. If he if if there was something in question, if there was obvious cases of voter fraud then he could have challenged it. Heck, Al Gore challenged it. They kept counting votes and counting votes and counting votes, and the more votes that they counted, the more votes that uh, the, the fewer votes Al Gore got. So do you really want to go back down that road again? But again, it's classic. It, it, it is classic. You are what I say you are simply because I say you are, you are it. Okay? And again, don't we have other bigger things to be more concerned about? You know, like uh, making America great again. How about uh, if you're so worried about these votes, how come you haven't been so worried about about uh, all the crimes that you've been committing? Oh, that's right, because you've been the one committing the crimes. You see, what they are afraid of is is they are afraid of this man and his administrating administration getting in there and making sure that the law is applied. Trust me, I can testify. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he also reap. Which brings us back to the election. Why is it, and exactly how is it, that all of these pundits, prognosticators, news agencies, they all said, except for a very, very, very select few. And it wasn't agencies, it was a select few people within agencies. Why is it that all mainstream media, even down to where you live, your local media outlet, was pushing nothing more than Hillary Clinton's going to win. 
Now you all now you all have a lot to explaining. How in the world? Why is it that none of you all? None of you all. None of you all said that Donald J. Trump stood a chance. Why is that? Oh, because you were just reading what the higher up said. See, folks, there is no difference between your local television, uh, what they're calling now today news, no difference between them and the higher ups. They just sit there and they're just re they're just actors. They're pretty faces. And they read off the teleprompter. They're just obedient. They don't do any investigative story because it's their goal that all they're trying to do, all your local media is trying to do, every single one of them, is they're trying to get to a larger market. That's it. And they all want to end up on a national news uh, on a national news channel that's all they're trying to do that's it they like being on tv because they believe that being on tv makes them somebody now if you don't believe me that's what you believe you do not understand and realize that you make all of the stars stars because if you didn't buy their stuff if you didn't listen to their music then they wouldn't make any money they are nothing without you therefore in order to in order to build up your little ego you don't understand that you are somebody all by yourself you truly believe that you are nothing unless someone tells you that you are somebody. That's why all of these people had meltdowns at the election. Because they were told repeatedly. I just had a ball watching the Young Turks meltdown. The Young Turk, there was a video footage of all the stuff that was happening uh, election day on, on, uh, from the Young Turks. Bunch of imbeciles. And the, the, more, the more it became evident that Donald J. Trump was going to win, the more vile, disgusting, the more they encouraged, they, the more they started using words like kill, destroy. We're going to take you down. You let us down. And, and the more vitriol that just comes out of their mouth because they didn't get their little way. And they, they believed the lie. And again, why did everybody believe this? Because it was rigged. It was fixed. Now we're going to expose that. Now they're trying to capitalize on it. And they're trying to get, they're trying to get them to challenge. I said it uh, several videos back. They're trying to get Donald J. Trump to challenge the outcome. To look into it. So then they can say, oh, look, the Russians hacked. Come on, folks. We know better. It's over and done with. It's over and done with. Your little scheme didn't work because we had the super vote. Hillary Rotten Lion Clinton did not get all of those votes. There weren't that many people in the country that were willing to vote for her. You know it. I know it. She knows it. That's why they couldn't believe. I, I showed, uh, I, I saw a video clip that was leaked of election night. Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton celebrating because it was election night and we just knew we were going to win. We just knew Bill's jumping up and down like a little 10 year old little boy, like it's Christmas morning. Yet she didn't even come out. Because you cannot stop the will of Almighty God. But folks, you have to start questioning. You have to start asking some serious questions. How is it and why is it that even your local news, you know what's on your local news stations. Why is it that they all were saying the very same thing that the mainstream media is? 
Well, because they're just one giant conglomerate. I already told you. All the little local guys are trying to do is work their ways up because they want to because they believe they're just worried about a paycheck. They're just worried about money. I said it yesterday. That's it. That's all they're worried about. They could really give a rat's butt about truth. They have stopped being depressed. I think the last real the last new real newsman was probably Walter Cronkite. Because he didn't give opinion, he just gave the facts. And the easiest way to, to brainwash you is just to say, give your opinion value. Give opinion, give, put the people on TV. Because remember now, once you're on TV, you're important. You matter. That's why we care so much about all these sports stars, because, wow, they're on TV. Hello? It's a game. It's got no value for you. All they're doing is taking your time from you. But if that's how you want to spend your time, go ahead. Spend your time. Go ahead. Spend your time watching a football game. I, I enjoy watching football too, but I, it, it, I don't. It doesn't make me any more or great. You see, here's here, it doesn't do anything for me except entertain me. I know exactly what it is, but a lot of you all don't. A lot of you all really think that these uh, Miley Cyrus is somebody important simply because she was on, she had a television show. Because she's on a little box on a little screen. Well, you want to be important? Then? Okay, go record yourself outside doing something and then play it back on your TV and now you're somebody. It's the same difference. Well, no, no, because all these millions of people watch you. Well, okay. Millions of people, the whole world watched Adolf Hitler try to take over the world. Does that make him a superstar? Does that make him right? Hello? Hello? Folks, you, you, no one gives you value. No one can increase or decrease your value. You, you, you are a unique, one of a kind individual that has meaning and purpose, so says your creator. Okay? The, the blinders are off now, and, uh, and you all are getting y'all's feelings hurt because now the people that you have looked up to, the people that you're finding out, again, that these people are, are sick, vile, demonic people. We're not, in third, we're not in junior high anymore, folks. This isn't the popular crowd. And again, you listen to the Young Turks, and boy, they were just so venom. Out of the mouth overflows the abundance of the heart. The word of God is clear. The word of God is true. We're going to go, we're going to go do this, we're going to go do that. You're not going to do nothing except get your feelings hurt some more. That's all you're going to do. You're going to come try to be, be stupid and you're going to get your feelings hurt. That's all you're going to do. That's all you're doing. You are proving us. You are proving to us. Why is it uh, exactly who and what you are? And again, let's go back to the news media. Why is it that the news media isn't even trying to debunk isn't even trying to debunk <coughs> this, um, how shall we call it, Pizzagate. I'm going to tell you why. Because it's real. <coughs> you see, we have been <coughs> not we, you, me, we, have been conditioned that if these people who are on TV, they're important because they're on TV, and if they tell us that there's nothing here to look at, if there is nothing here to look at, then there's nothing here to look at. You want to bet? That's a dangerous slope you're going down, folks. Because that makes you cattle. That means they don't really care about your opinion, which is another funny thing. They only, they only talk about the things that they agree with. There is no, there is no, whatever happened to editorials? Whatever happened to a differing opinion? 
All they do is they put a cross, even there, right there in your little hometown, they're just going to put apart, uh, uh, across the very same narrative that the mainstream media is promoting because that's their bread and butter. That's their bread and butter. But you see, crimes have been committed. These people are doing some very sick, vile, disgusting things. Let's, let's get away from the pedophilia stuff. Let's talk about the murders. Now, you could say, well, oh, President Obama needs to go pardon Hillary Clinton. Well, you can't pardon someone for murder, and there is no statutes of limitations on murder. She's toast. There is no statutes of limitations on murder, on conspiracy uh, to commit murder, on, on uh, assisting someone to commit murder. Because that's exactly what you're doing. By trying to prevent justice, by helping, that's, that's aiding and abetting. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Hello. I told you what was going to happen. I told you the list was long and deep. These people are murderers. They don't care about you. Same situation, with, with same thing with my situation. Why are these people not even coming out and trying to debunk it? Why does, why did um, Ken Amaro not even, just, just ignore me, just ignore me, just ignore me. Why did he not even look into it? Why did he not? Why did he not do his job as a journalist and debunk me? Hmm? Hmm? Because I'm right. Because these people are murderers. Well, guess what, Ken? You just became. Uh, you just helped these people continue to murder people. Because I am being, I am being raped and eviscerated on a daily basis, simply to cut, simply simply to try to drive me and keep me quiet and discredit me from telling the truth. Well, I'm still telling the truth. Same thing for you, Miss Lindsay Gardner. Lindsay got so upset that she left the city, left news to go to St. Augustine to uh, bake some cupcakes. Why? Because I presented it to her. I told her where to go. I have I I did everybody's job for them because they were unwilling to do it because of why money, 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 and there how many people are going to go down? You see, understand, folks. You have to understand how these people operate, what they how they work. They get something on somebody, and then they hold it over their head and they say, "Hey, if I go down, you're going down." They could really care less about you. And these are the same people who are supposed to be upholding and enforcing the laws of our land. That's why they are afraid of the 45th president. That's why these local people here are so scared to death of me. Why are you not scared of them, Kerry? Because I'm doing exactly what my God told me to do. Remember, I've, been know I've, I've known about this. I've known it was wrong from day one. And there is no statutes of limitation. There, they have yet to document my crime. Because as soon as they document they cr my crime, then they have to explain why they allowed it to happen. And a lot of people are going to go to a prison. And I'm going to get a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. How much is one year of your life worth? Hmm? Come on, folks. Over on the YouTube channel. I got some videos for it. Just go look at it, folks. Over and done with. Over and done with. I'm in no rush. This is going to happen. I am trust. I am not trusting the criminals to do the right thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am trusting my God. The one who set up the authority structure, the jurisdictional structure, and the legal structure. Mm -hmm. Is it still in place? Yep. I'm trusting my own, my God. I'm trusting Almighty God to be Almighty God. And no harm is going to come. I'm just going to sit here. They're making a fools out of themselves. Not me. Folks, we've got work to do. We, you, me, we have work to do. 
there's a lot of people that are going to be replaced. There's a lot of voids that are going to need to be filled. It's time for you, me, we, to seek the face of Almighty God, to find out what you, me, we should do, what he would have us do. Not what we think somebody, not, it's time to get up off your butt. You've been, you're too fat, you're too lazy. It's time to get up. It's time to, the ox is in the ditch. It's time to get it out. Just saying.